Okay, friends, without much premeditation as far as what I'm going to say, I want to show you the building that we just rented for the Beasine congregation. Juan and Randy and Mike and I met with the agency and the owner of the building, who is an elderly gentleman, six, uh, 74, one of the kindest, most gentlemanly men that I've met here. Very, very friendly, very, just, just a very nice elderly man who is, seems to be thrilled that a church is coming in here. And we trust to, he pretty much promised to come to the, to the services. So anyway, I want to send this out today. This is the building inside. Our entire other building that we have been meeting in for 18 years would fit easily under that section there. So it gives you an idea of the size of this place for us. The entrance obviously there. The cafe that was here before for the children's park is in there. And there's a kitchen area. And then there's a second floor which is half as, half as big as the whole bottom. I, don't, I haven't done the numbers to tell you how much it is in square feet. Our idea is to use this section under this roof, uh, under this uh, shorter ceiling for the services. We plan to build some kind of a portable type or movable type wall so that we don't have to get permits and into all of that to be able to isolate it because this will be very cold in the winter. But this has a low ceiling, much lower than where we are now in fact. And here we'll be able to heat for the services and we have some room for Sunday school classes and just a tremendous potential for a Friday fellowships. We even have a little uh, eating area and we have, does this not look like it was made for a church? Except for the colors, of course. Uh, this is a, an island where we can put literature and be able to greet people who come. So just a, just tremendous potential and so I've already notified our believers that we went through with the signature and so on Sunday, this coming Sunday after our services, regular services, we're going to come here and we'll have a sort of a light lunch and then we'll have some singing and some prayer time and dedicate the, the building to uh, the Lord's ministry in, in a somewhat official way. I'm going to go upstairs. This is almost three minutes long. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to put it up as, <clears throat> as I take it. But as we go up here, we go from having one bad bathroom situation to having three small, nice bathrooms and even a couple of rooms for offices or Sunday school space. From up here, you can see the area that's open. The services would be down below this. I'm going to do a quick voiceover anyway. Uh, we have a huge job ahead of us in painting the walls. So as soon as we decide on that and figure out how to get the paint and so forth, we have a number of men at church that are ready and eager to tackle the job of painting those walls for us. So we just ask you to pray for us as the small congregation takes a huge leap of faith as Joshua in uh, chapter 3 and verse 15 as they stepped towards or onto the Jordan towards the promised land. We have that feeling, there is the excitement in the air that God will use this place uh, in a mighty way for his, his glory, that the gospel will be preached here and many will come to know Christ as a result of, this, of us being in this building. So thank you for your prayers. God bless you and we look forward to sending pictures and videos as we begin to use the building, Lord willing, in a couple of weeks already.